Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, Mina Stark, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Well, I want to let you know my audience told me over the weekend they love watching you on Yay, Good Bones. Yay, good. That's, that's always pretty nice good. to hear. Well, good. And your mom, too. Let her know that, too. Of course. You are here today to give us some help, though. You know, yes. you're going to have to... Let's talk about first... Tell me how'd you come up with that name, Good Bones, for the ship. Um, so we don't actually get to pick it. Um, the, the network does a lot of research and names the shows. Um, but I think for us, um, we don't have good bones in our homes. So, I mean, we're trying to put them back. But ultimately for us, the good bones really is the neighborhoods we work in. It's the supportive people, the neighborhood associations, um, and things like that. So... It's kind of a funny title for us because we have all the damage um, in all of our homes that makes them not have good bones. <laughs> well, you've got people now talking about whether or not a house they look at has good bones enough. Yeah, so yeah. Kudos to you and your mom. All right. But when you do those homes, sometimes I think you find termites. Let's talk about a termite inspection because I think that's mm -hmm. real important. I don't think that's on the top of our list, though. No, I mean, it's not one of those fun, exciting things to talk about, like, ooh, I'm doing my kitchen and I'm getting a termite inspection. Um, but it's something that's super important. We've done uh, low 100s. I think it were like 120 homes. And we've only had a handful that haven't had either active termites or uh, old termite damage. So it really, uh, for at least in our line of work, is significant. Um, newer homes have had less time to have maybe as much damage as we've seen, but really no area or home um, gets a, a get, a, get out of jail free card um, as far as termites is concerned. So just making sure if you are buying a new home, if it's an investment property, that you're really doing your due diligence as far as inspections. Um, your standard inspector isn't going to be looking as thoroughly for specific items in specific places like your termite inspection would. And it's free, so there's definitely no harm. You want to know that information no matter how much you don't want to spend the money on fixing it. Um, it's just really important to do because none of the pretty things matter in your house unless it does have good bones. So um, that's why in our show, you know, we take everything down to the studs, see all the terrible things that a lot of people like to cover up, fix those things, and then you make it pretty again. Yeah, you guys do a good job of finding yeah. problems and <laughs> fixing those. Well, let me ask you, so what if you, you're already living in the home? You, you've already bought it, you're living there, and you suspect something is wrong. What do you do with yeah. termites? I mean, definitely just check out Call Terminex, get your free assessment. Um, because if, if you suspect, you probably have a bigger problem than you even think because a lot of times, just the way the termite activity happens, it's not something that you're going to see. It's not readily available um, until it's very, very bad. Uh, they're going to sneak in. They're going to get into your sill plate, which is really like on top of the block or concrete is the, the support for the rest of your house. And that's not something you're crawling around in your crawl space looking at day to day. Um, so if you've noticed something or have an inkling, you definitely want to get them out there. Ideally, you have an assessment and have a preventative maintenance plan because that's much more cost effective than waiting until, let's say, and this has happened, your toilet goes through the bathroom floor because you've had a small leak in your toilet that's created this moisture that's really uh, heaven for certain kind of termites. Um, you don't want to get to that point because then you're looking at a, a much bigger bill. Is there anything we can do to reduce uh, a, a termite infestation or is it just is? I mean, if it already exists, other than treatment, there's not anything you can do, but there are certain things, um, precautions you can take to try to limit how desirable your home maybe is to termites. If you do a walk around your property, you want to be able to visibly see between your grass or your landscaping bed, whatever it is, you want to be able to see about a hand's distance of your, your block, your brick, your concrete, whatever your foundation is before there's any wood. So the exterior trim piece, you don't want anywhere near 
the ground because then it's gonna suck in moisture. Same thing with planting beds. You don't want any plants that are just pushed right up against your house because then it's this nice little moist trail for them to come from the soil into the wood in your home. All right then. I got um, a question from, this comes from Facebook. They want to know, does that um, uh, mulch create termites or help termites and should they use it up against their home, kind of like you said? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't any differently than any other planting material you would have out there. You just want to make sure that it's a safe distance from your wood. So uh, again, whether it's your grass or your mulch, you want to be able to see a good chunk of your concrete foundation, brick or block, whatever it is, before it's the wood. Because if your wood trim piece is in direct contact with your pretty little mulch bed, then it's going to suck in the moisture from the mulch, and then you're going to have this really perfect condition for um, the, the termites that really thrive in that moisture environment to come into and start eating the wood in your home instead of the mulch outside your home. Ah, great advice, Nina. I really like that. Okay, as I wrap up, what's next for the Good Bones family and your family? Uh, we have season five airing right now on Tuesday nights. Super exciting. And we're filming season six, so we'll have that coming at you hopefully early next year. Um, and I'm having a baby in six weeks, so we've got a lot going on. Oh, you're going to give Jack, see, I watch. Yes. You're going to give Jack a little sibling. Jack's more that. famous than I am. We go out to breakfast and people are like, oh, Jack Richard, you've gotten so big. <laughs> and yes, he's he has. a beautiful <laughs> baby. And you're, thank you. You look like you're a great mom. I appreciate I want to it. thank you so much for giving us some great advice about termites because we homeowners, we're really into our homes with the yep. pandemic. So thank you for being yes. my guest today and talking to my audience, Mina Stark. Really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Belder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Belder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>